This video is presented by the EA Creator Network. I once again want to thank the fabulous people at EA. I do want to emphasize that this is a work in progress and what you're seeing in this video is not the final build of the game. Oh, that loss hurt so bad. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm still licking my wounds from that beatdown that I just took from Dev. And I think that is the perfect leeway for us to jump into Dynasty. Everything that I'm seeing here, I'm seeing for the first time alongside you guys in Dynasty mode. So let's see if we can't try and get Cincinnati back on track. Again, I just want to emphasize that everything that I'm about to see, I'm seeing for the first time. I have not been in Dynasty mode yet, but I know that Cincinnati needs a lot, a lot of help. So let's see if we can't go ahead and get that started. Welcome to Dynasty mode. I'm Reese Davis, and it's time right. to start your coaching journey. First, select whether you want to play online or offline. An so online, online dynasty offline. is where you can invite your friends and also import your own custom created schools through Team Builder. Let's go ahead and go into offline dynasty. Next, for this. it's time to select your rosters. Choose to use the latest EA Sports recommended roster or choose one you've created uh, personally. We don't have a roster created yet, so let's go ahead and go into the default roster that EA has created for us. Now it's time to customize your Dynasty experience. Choose your settings and okay, customize your so conferences. Okay, so we've got settings here. With unique rules and protected rivals. Okay, so we'll keep the skill level on varsity. We can fire our coach. If we've got to fire our coach, we've got to fire our coach. Simple as that. Okay, so I'm liking, with the exception of of the quarters we'll go four minute quarters i'm liking everything that i'm seeing here thus far so we are good with dynasty settings let's check out the custom conferences so cincinnati is in the big 12 we just got to the big 12 and we are actually last in the division the last time i checked so there we are cincinnati you can't see it because my camera is covering it up here but we've got kansas and then we've got texas tech down below so actually let me go ahead and move my camera so you guys can see exactly what it is that i'm talking about here you can actually add a school that you want and i believe you can do this for all the conferences as well but for now for the sake of this video we're just going to keep everything as is so let me go ahead and back out of that and like i said i like all of our settings so let's go ahead and advance it's now time to select your team okay so we've got all of our teams here it looks like we can select based off of conferences so we're gonna go into big 12 we've got an 82 overall right now our offense is an 84 overall right now so we're gonna go ahead and take over and we're gonna do our darndest to make this program a lot better than what it is or at least try to so let's go ahead and pick cincinnati and here so here are our options we have head coach offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator let's go ahead and take over as the head here, coach you'll choose to create a coach of your own or use Ooh. an existing one okay so i like what i'm seeing here we can either create a brand new coach or we can work with the coach that we have anthony bates is our coach he's a level 24 he's pretty much a motivator Offensive scheme is pistol. Defensive scheme is 335. Pipeline is out of Iowa. He is a C minus. Okay, so Your here's where we get into motivator, recruiter, and tactician. What is the most important thing to you? Acquiring players, maximizing player development, or putting your team in the best position to succeed? Okay, so first name here. Let's go with Lauren. I mean, we'll just we'll go with Lauren. Period. Like period. Last name. Let's keep things on brand here. We'll go Lauren. Period. WKR. How about that? All right, offensive playbook. We'll go with the spread offense, and we will actually, can we just, let me see if I can't just go, oh, wait, there it was. Spread option, spread. So we're going to make sure that we keep things, keeping things simple here. Alma mater, of course, Cincinnati, because that's where your girl went to school. She went to the University of Cincinnati. We're going to try and rebuild the Cincinnati program. Yes. There we go. Pipeline. Sure, why not? You know, let's just say that we came out of Alabama. We were fortunate enough to watch Nick Saban coaches last year. But yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Alabama. All all right, appearance. Okay, general head. As we scroll down here, okay, how do we want to look? Ooh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this guy right here. So we'll go there. Physique. Ooh. If he's tall, I feel like he's gonna have a, a little bit more influence as a taller guy. So we'll say he, in terms of weight, we'll make him a moderately big guy. 6'5", 197 pounds. He's under 200 pounds. So why not? All right, apparel. Ooh, coach's apparel. Shirt. Yeah, this shirt's a bit of a plain jean. So I'm liking the. Oh, sweater? They're calling it a sweater, but it looks like a jacket. It doesn't look like we can necessarily adjust anything with like the hair and the facial hair or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and stick with this look. All right, we've got our new coach. Congratulations. It's time to sign your first coaching contract. Make sure to pay attention to the expectations of the role. So I guess it's to be expected. Our grade is pretty much the same grade as the coach that was in this position before us. Only difference is we're starting at a level one and they were at a level 24. So I really like our odds to be a way better coach 
than the coach that we had prior to this. As you can see here, it's got our record dating all the way back to 2004, the bowl game appearances that we had. And yeah, so it looks like, let's see. Oh, we signed our contract. I did that really, really fast, but it's a three-year contract. Hopefully I can be able to go back to that. Our goal is to win eight games. I think we can make that happen. So we've got a lot of stuff in here college football playoff this is where the rankings stand right now we are nowhere near or on that list coaching abilities team with the depth chart view roster red shirts all of our stats and records are going to be here and if we want to make any adjustments to the league settings sliders gameplay settings and all that we can do that here so let's go ahead and take a look at our actions here our weekly to-do list set up recruiting board custom schedules top stories so this is actually kind of cool we've got the preseason candidates for the heisman trophy so this is where our coaching abilities tree is we've got the head coach we've got our offensive coordinator and we've got our defensive coordinator we don't really have anything unlocked just yet okay so we've got five coins that we can work towards in order to be able to unlock motivator for our offensive coach we need 10 so i believe these coins will be accumulated over time once we get certain accomplishments complete so awesome all right obviously the biggest thing that we need to be concerned with right now is getting our recruiting board set up and looking at our scouts and prospects okay so this is our recruiting board if you look over in the top right hand corner we've got 35 scholarships that we can offer and we've got 35 players that we can target within this so at the top left here we've got the recruiting board we've got a prospect list we've got the transfer portal so no one's in the transfer portal right now as far as what's going on with the school right now we're about a c plus like i said earlier we are 82 overall 84 offense 82 defense i think defense right now might be some of our biggest concerns as you guys saw in the video with dev i could not tackle to save my life so we've got to get some better players that can actually tackle and then we've got a list of our top classes here and you can break them down nationally break them down by conference so as far as big 12 goes arizona state is the big guy right now and here we are at the bottom of the division so i can't say it enough we've got our work cut out for us all right recruiting board add a prospect all right so we're ready to add a prospect all right so with our prospect list as you can see we've got a lot a lot of needs Starting from the top, we need a right guard, we need a left outside linebacker, we need a right in, we need a left tackle, we need a left outside linebacker, we need everybody. Obviously, we're not going to be able to sign everybody, but it's really letting us know what we need. So going across the board here, it's letting us know the rating of the position, where they are right now in terms of the stage and the recruiting pool, the state that they're in, the pipeline, if any offers have been made to them, and where they are from a class standpoint. So let's just take a look at the right guard right now. Hometown kid, he's agile, he's a little over 300 pounds. He wants to be able to play. The top schools that he's interested in are Marshall, Ohio State, and Cincinnati. So we're in his top three. Looks like Toledo is fourth and Louisville is five in terms of interest. Let's go ahead and say that we are gonna target this kid. Ooh, these are our team needs. So this is the interface of our team needs. And as you can see, there's a lot of red going on here and it's not just referencing the colors of Cincinnati. So we're gonna need quarterback, halfback, fullback, wide receiver, left tackle, guard, Right tackle, and this is just on offense. As far as defense goes, left end, right end, defensive tackle, left outside linebacker, middle linebacker, right outside linebacker, and a strong safety. And then as far as special teams goes, we're pretty good on special teams right now, so hopefully the fellas will be able to develop over time. Let's check out our offense. All right, quarterback. Let's see, we are a B minus at the quarterback position. Let's see, do we have anything that's just like really, really bad? Okay, fullback is just, is really, really bad. So let's go back to our prospect list. Let's see, fullbacks that are on the board right now. Well, we got a, quite a few. Let's see if there's any that are on our, potentially on our radar right now. Deal baker, proximity to home. Oh, okay, so, so for the recommended, we can go by state, top prospects, my pipelines. Let's see some of the prospects in Ohio. Are there any fullbacks right now in Ohio. There are, but we don't seem to be on their list right now in terms of interest, so that's okay. Let's go back up here and look at the recommendations for fullback. All right, for him, he wants to be close to home. Let's take a look at the kid out of North Carolina. He's really good at blocking, so that's really gonna be important for pass protection. Let's go ahead and target this guy. Let's see quarterbacks we got a kid out of hilliard ohio he's a bit of a scrambler so that's not terrible he's 6'4 182 pounds top prospect schools that he's looking at ohio state number one michigan state number two and cincinnati number three so he he has an interest to come here 
Fox. Let's go ahead and get him on the target list as well. So going back to our recruiting board, we've got three guys. We're definitely going to expand upon this list here, but we've got a right guard, a fullback, and a quarterback that we've said, hey, these are some guys that we want to pay attention to. Let's go ahead and check out top stories. Of course, we've got our Heisman Trophy candidates over here on this side. Beck recognize Georgia quarterback. 93 overall throwing power, 94 overall throwing accuracy short, 96. All-American. Judkins, kid out of Ohio State. So we got to work our way up. We only have five tokens right now. So once we start to get more tokens accumulated, then we can potentially upgrade our offensive coordinator, potentially upgrade our defensive coordinator. Lot, lots going on there. So let's go ahead and advance to the next week and see what we get. The idea of us being a championship contender is a grade of a C. We have some players that are also at risk here. We got the top ranking schools over to the right. So Colorado, Washington State, and we are down at 67. We're getting pretty close to start the season here. Let's go back and look at our recruiting. See how we're doing there. Oh no. So as time has gone by, I think we were at one point top three with this right guard, I believe. Now we're down all the way to five, so we're not in a good shape at a, from a recruiting standpoint right now. Let's see. So scouting, have we done any scouting? We've done zero scouting. We've got some intel on his run blocking and finesse, so, okay. Recruiting, let's see, add action. We need this right guard. Maybe let's shoot the guy a DM. Let's see if we can't send some communication over to him. So we're going to go ahead and DM, and that's going to cost us 10 recruiting hours. So these are the actions that we've taken thus far. Do we want to go ahead and offer the kid a scholarship? I think we do. So I kind of like this here. Let's search social media. We've added that. All right, so where things stand with our right guard, we've done a lot. We've gone on social media. We've sent him a DM. We've contacted friends and family, and we've offered him a scholarship. We're really, really just kind of throwing the bag at him right now. As you can see, both Louisville, the top three teams that he's interested in have already sent out scholarships. We've thrown out a scholarship at him, so maybe that'll turn into something. Let's go back here. Oh, shoot. Let's see. The kid out of North Carolina, we are completely, completely, completely off. So let's go ahead and scout him as far as recruiting goes. Let's go ahead and shoot him a DM. Let's also check out his social media. Okay, and then our third guy here. Do we want to offer him a scholarship just yet? He's a hometown kid. It's very possible that he wants to stay at home. Just looking at the recruiting board, we are down to six. So that's not good. That's not good. There are some things that we probably should have done weeks prior to keep us in that top three, but we've fallen all the way to six. We can't have this kid going to Michigan State. He's already been made an offer by BG, Michigan State, and the Ohio Bobcats. So he's looking at Michigan. Ohio State hasn't made him any offers just yet. So we're kind of playing catch up here. All right, let's go ahead and search his social media. We've done that. We're also going to shoot him a DM. Let's get some recruiting going. Nice throwing power. Okay, awareness is not bad. So his speed is a 93. I could see this kid really being our guy. We've just really got to get more information about him and say we contact friends and family. Here's where we can do a soft sell, hard sell, or send someone to the house. It's going to cost us 50 recruiting hours, and that's okay. And... Maybe we offer him a scholarship. Okay, so we have offered him a scholarship. Okay, so we've done a little bit of recruiting here with these players. Let's go ahead and back out and advance to week one. Okay, so it looks like we've got some recruiting updates here. As far as the right guard goes, again, this is a hometown kid. We are going head to head right now with Michigan State to try to get Romeo. Oh my gosh, JT has said, Cincinnati, you're number one on my list. You guys have thrown everything at me. Screw everybody else. This is a good sign. That's a beautiful thing to see. The FCS Southeast Pandas against the Cincinnati Bearcats. This is a winnable game. We got to start getting some dubs here. All right, so if I accept this, play full game. Okay, so we can either play the full game, play offense only, play defense only, play the moments. You know what? Let's play the moments. I don't know if I want to play the full game, but we'll go ahead and play the moments. We are in full-on swipe out mode. One of the best fight songs out there. I don't care. All right, let's see if we can advance from this. Did he catch that? No, he didn't catch it. All right, he didn't catch it. The weather, the weather is not our friend right now. 
Did he get it? We missed the field goal! Holy crap! Let's go ahead and jump ahead to the end of the game. So it's simulating the game. Okay, we got on the board. We eventually got on the board. Three points, 10 points. Okay. Oh, we are just whooping up on FCS right now. But they turned it into a game here. 27 to 13 going into the fourth. Oh, we got three more points and we got the dub. So this is for sure going to help our recruiting right here. Our quarterback is the player of the game. 226 passing yards, 58, a little, about 59% pass completion. Okay, we've got XP leveled up. Oh, and we got some coins too. So we can perhaps... I don't know if we'll be able to start using abilities right away, but up oh, 25. Can we pay it forward with our DBs? I'm just picking some right now, but this kind of breaks down the different areas. Or at least the very first tier. Let's see what we can do with our offensive coordinator. It looks like these are still locked right now. No worries there. And for our defense. Okay, so defense is unlocked and it looks like based on how we played some of these are available to us so we love to see that let's check out recruiting do we have any possible commits yet we're at the top of the list right now with our right tackle with jt so with jt we are still very much at the top of the list we've offered him a scholarship so hopefully we hear something from him soon we've completely fallen off with our fullback and with our quarterback we're number one i think we were number two so this is good. This is absolutely good. The week prior, we were still at number two with Michigan State. We are number one. We've really gotten the attention of this quarterback. I say, let's go back to recruiting. And you know what? Let's see. Let's add an action here. Can we? Okay, we can't. We haven't sent anybody at the house yet. So let's see if we can't get some influence with our guy. Let's check out our top stories here. Big game between Clemson and Georgia. Georgia was able to pull through 38 to 30. Our next game is against Pitt. Holy crap. We'll go back and play some moments. Completely evenly matched. All right, so let's go ahead. We won't play full game. Let's play moments only. Out of the shotgun, they go to the All right, ground. we're fighting. Let's keep running the ball here. Let's keep running the ball. Strong, continue to plow his way forward. Just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackle. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first, you're around midfield. There we go. Catch that. Let's go. Big time first down right there. Let's go. All right, let's play a key moment here. All right, second quarter, third down alert. Wide open, wide open, wide open. Almost a chat. What a grab and go for the score. And this offense has started. Look at us. We've got a nice substantial lead here on our way into halftime. But yeah, we had to roll out of the pocket there to get that touchdown. Love to see it. All right, more options. Let's see if we can jump ahead and let's go ahead and end the game because I kind of want to see if we got any commits. We beat Pitt. This is a big one. It was a rivalry game. This just goes to show our recruits that we mean business. Player of the game. Of course, our quarterback is player of the game. The, the quarterback completion has gone up, so 82.8%. Return to the hub. All right, we've got a lot of XP and a lot of points, so love to see that. Let's go ahead and advance to the next week. Did that do anything for our recruits? I think it did, All right? Recruiting update. Romeo has reached his top five schools. So we're still number one right now for Romeo for our quarterback. We've made an offer. Michigan State's made an offer. Ohio's made an offer. So, all right. Let's go ahead and advance. Let's check out our recruiting. Let's see if there's anything more that we can do. Okay. So there is more that we can do. Go ahead and schedule that visit. Let's see. Is there anything else that we want to do? Houston is 0-2 right now. So this could be big. This could be huge for us. If we're able to win this game against Houston, I think we're going to be able to get this cat to commit. Okay. So we have leveled up. Let's go to our recruiting update here. So with our right guard, he wants playing time. That's it. We're still number one with him. Let's go ahead and schedule a visit for him too. Right, recruiting. I don't know if we'll be able to get him out the same week. Recruiting. Schedule a visit. Oh shoot. Let's see if we can't get him out for Arizona State. Campus tour. Attend practice. We'll have him come out for practice during that week. All right. Let's go back and look at our quarterback. We dropped down. All right. Let's 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 keep putting the pedal to the metal. Let's uh, influence is good with friends and family. All right. We're gonna DM him. Yeah, we've already offered him a scholarship. Let's also get him out for a visit. The same week that we're bringing out our right guard. So we'll also have him attend to practice as well. So I love it. I like it. I love it. I like it. All right. We've got to get these two guys on our team. Like we actually need them. 
All right, we're advancing to the next week. Can we get a commit? It's come down to the top three, and we are in the top three. All right, our coaching XP is looking good. Let's check out our recruiting update. Oh, no, we're still at number two. We are at number one right now with our fullback. There's a very good possibility we can get him to commit. All right, let's see if we can't throw some more at these guys. Okay, so recruiting. We've offered him a scholarship. He's coming out. Let's see if we can't get our fullback out here too. Recruiting, schedule, visit. We'll also get him in for week eight. We'll also have him attend to practice. Is there anything more we can do with our quarterback from a recruiting standpoint? I don't think we have enough hours. All right, let's see. Oh no, we lost our quarterback. We lost our quarterback. He committed to Michigan State. Dag on it. What could we have done differently? Okay, that's all right. You know what? He committed to Michigan State. We'll just continue to try to develop the quarterback that we have. Let's see if we can't try and throw all of the nuts and bolts if we can with this guy, with our right guard. This is going to help out our current quarterback. Sucks because he was a hometown kid as well, so... We wish him all the best at Michigan State. Can we add any more actions here? We're still number one for our right guard. Let's check out our fullback. Oh, wow. No one's in the transfer portal. That's kind of interesting. No one's upset yet. All right. We've scouted him at 100%. Okay, so we've added some more scouting to our fullback. We've completely learned everything that we could possibly learn about our fullback. Maybe that was the problem. We didn't complete our scouting hours with our with our quarterback. So we're going to complete our scouting hours here. Okay. All right. We got to get a commit here, guys. We, we, we gotta get a commit here. Advance to the next week. Week seven, do we get a commit? Top three schools. Are we in the top three schools? We're still number one. We are still number one. Okay. This is the make or break situation here. We've got our fullback and we've got our right guard coming out for this game. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate it on to the next week. Can we get a commit for week eight? Let's see here. We got him! We got him! Let's go! We got JT! We got our right guard to commit to the University of Cincinnati. Oh my gosh, there's no better feeling than this right here. We did we did everything that we could. We lost our quarterback. We got him. Oh, all right. Let's let's go. He has committed. We still got a lot of work to do with, with our fullback. It feels good that we knowing that we gotta commit. He was feeling the visit when we beat Arizona State, and that was all that they needed. That was all that he absolutely needed. So there's going to be a lot of grinding hours in this mode, to say the least. I think the next time I go around with this, there's going to be a lot more recruits that I'll have on the board as prospects for Cincinnati. But it's really, really cool to go through the process and to see what the new dynasty mode is ultimately going to be like. I think we're going to see a lot of grinding hours, a lot of time put into trying to build up our team. But recruiting, recruiting, recruiting is truly what makes this mode this mode i'm kind of sad that we lost our quarterback prospect he's going on to michigan state but now we know what to do moving forward we know how to adjust from our mistakes and i'm looking forward to playing a lot more of this once the game does come out there's actually quite a few schools that come to mind outside of cincinnati that i'm thinking about rebuilding maybe we rebuild kent state maybe we rebuild university of oregon Maybe we rebuild Georgia Tech. There's just so many possibilities with this mode and so much fun that can be had in this mode and just knowing that you can literally start from the ground up. For sure, looking forward to more Dynasty. If you have not pre-ordered this game, please, please, please consider pre-ordering. The game launches worldwide July 19th. Early access is available July 16th. I'll be playing Dynasty mode. I'll be playing all the modes in the game. I'm looking forward to it. That's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.